I'm going to tell you how to heal with meals. Remember, the most powerful medicine available to any of us is not found in a pill bottle. It's at the end of our forks. Dinner is like a date with the doctor. So get your medicine in the kitchen, not the pharmacy. Science overwhelmingly shows us that food is the best medicine, period. That's why we need to focus on eating quality, whole, real, fresh foods every day. So let's start with my 10 rules for eating safely for life. If you do absolutely nothing else that I've suggested today, I can guarantee you that just following these 10 simple rules will keep you healthy for life. Rule one, ideally only have food without labels in your kitchen or foods that don't come in a box, a package, or a can. Rule number two, if a food has a label, it should have fewer than five ingredients. If not, throw it out. Also, beware of food with health claims on the label. They're usually bad for you. I recently saw a big bag of deep fried potato chips with a health claim, gluten-free, organic, no artificial ingredients, no sugar, and with fewer than five ingredients on the label. Sounds great, right? But remember, cola is 100% fat-free, and that doesn't make it a health food. Rule number three, stay away from those deadly white powders, which are white sugar and white flour that acts just like sugar in your body. If sugar, by any name, is on the label, throw it out. Rule number four, throw out any food with high fructose corn syrup on the label. This is the main ingredient in liquid calories, or sugary drinks, which are the number one cause of obesity in America. If you only take away one thing from this show, this is it. Don't drink your calories. They will pour on the pounds. Rule number five, throw out any food with the word hydrogenated on the label. It's an indicator of trans fats, which are vegetable oils converted through a chemical process into margarine or shortening. You know why they call it shortening? Because it shortens your life. <laughs> Rule number six, throw out any highly refined cooking oil such as corn or soy and avoid fried foods. Stick with olive oil and coconut oil. Rule number seven, throw out any food with ingredients you can't recognize or pronounce. Rule number eight, throw out any foods with preservatives, additives, coloring, or dyes, or natural flavorings like MSG. Rule number nine, throw out any food with artificial sweeteners of any kind. If you have to ask, is it okay? It isn't. How many of you use diet drinks as a weight loss strategy or to manage diabetes? Now here's the headline you need to know. Artificial sweeteners make you hungrier, they slow your metabolism, they give you bad gas, and they make you store extra fat around your waist, that big, bad belly fat. In fact, in a recent study, people who drank two or more diet sodas a day experienced waist size increases that were 500% greater than those of non-users. And lastly, rule number 10. If it came from the earth or a farmer's field and not a food chemist lab, safe to eat. As Michael Pollan says, if it was grown on a plant, not made in a plant, then you can keep it in your kitchen. Now that you've thrown out everything in your kitchen, what the heck are you going to eat? Simple. Eat real food. Well, how do I do that, you might be thinking. Simple. You make the perfect plate. When you do that, you not only lose weight automatically, but you stop all your sugar and carb cravings and your food addiction. So here's how. First, load up on the carbs. What? You mean bagels and donuts and pasta? No. I mean the real carbs. Slow carbs, also known as plant foods veggies and fruits and nuts and seeds and whole grains and beans, these don't spike insulin and they make you lose belly fat. They have all the right information and they turn on all the right genes. So half your plate should be low glycemic veggies like broccoli and asparagus and spinach and kale and cucumbers and tomatoes and salad greens. And you know what? You get unlimited refills on that side. The other half should be one quarter good quality protein like beans or nuts and seeds or some lean animal protein like chicken or fish, and one quarter slow carbs like brown rice or quinoa or sweet potatoes. And remember this, the key to balancing your blood sugar and insulin is having protein with every meal or snack. In fact, eating protein at breakfast will cut your cravings, turn up your metabolic thermostat, making you lose weight faster. So have eggs or a protein shake or just dinner for breakfast. 
you also need the right fats. And the research is clear. Eating fat does not make you fat. In fact, we're all afraid of fat, but over 90% of Americans are deficient in the good fats. Those anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats that come from wild fish and some plants like algae, and these fight diabetes and boost your brain. You need the good oils, including olive oil and nuts and avocados and coconut oil. These help fight diabetes. 